Hi everyone, it's Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and I'm coming to you with a Kidaholics Kids Design Team layout. So in this layout, I am using nearly only the Cocoa Vanilla stuff for this particular layout. I knew this was going to be a problem of mine when I got this kit because I have boys and Cocoa Vanilla is probably my ultimate favorite collection uh, supplier. I was going to find it really hard to use the other bits and bobs that came in the kit and I was going to congregate towards the Coco Vanilla Studios. But how can you not when it is just this luscious? So you can see that I tore off a bottom of the paper and sort of rolled it up so you can see the orange coming through on the roll. Put a little bit of green underneath that. Use that little um, 3x4 cut apart that you are this, my son and my moon and all of my stars then I just did a label and used a glue dot to adhere a um, little bow to sort of make it look a bit like a tag right now I thought I'd already done that sorry I'm doing that right now um, I kind of wanted the effect of a tag but I used the only tag that came in that collection I could have made my own I could have pierced a hole in it um, I just didn't bother doing any of that just adhering the glue dot um, on top of the bow to adhere the bow just worked perfectly so that's exactly what I was wanting to do then I've got the that's my boy sticker because it's his birthday and he is my boy this is Jack's fourth birthday he's got a Star Wars theme party um mostly because his amazing auntie a long time ago bought him those edible rice I don't know what you want to call them, edible rice stickers uh, that you put on top of cakes. And I realized that if I didn't use them now, while he's still mostly interested in Star Wars, because, you know, their interests change so quickly, um, I might miss the chance. So I definitely used those. He's obviously super into superheroes as well. If you've been watching my Scrappy Sisters channel, you will have seen that. But he had the best day. He just loved his Star Wars party, which was awesome. Um, enough food for a thousand people. It was just our immediate family, but we all do that, don't we? Over cater for important things like this. So now I am just, you can see that I tore another piece, a different piece of pattern paper to put up the top. And then again, just had a few extra color sticking up, uh, sticking from underneath. Um, just to add a bit of interest decided I needed to fill that gap between the photos there so I'm using that gorgeous cut apart um, I just love that scenery I just think it's beautiful so I'm using that I'm happy with how this is looking so I'm thinking I should start sticking um, before I forget or before you know I get too too far down the track the only part of this that I'm not 100% sold on is the um, hey good looking cluster that's happening up the top there so I'm probably going to change that that's why I moved it now because I know I want that to be a little bit different that ring there is like the it said something about being authentic uh, which just didn't go with this particular layout but I felt like the bear that I fussy cut from the cut apart sheet needed something to sort of anchor it so I just turned the word so that it was the correct shape to be covered by the bear's bottom. And then I was originally going to just do the title four, because, you know, it's his fourth birthday, and I thought that would be fine. But then, I don't know, just for some reason, literally as I was sticking the word four on, I decided to do four rocks, because he's just so happy, and he's so thrilled to be growing up. But isn't it funny how... We, as adults, have our birthdays and we're like, oh, I'm getting so old. And we have our little babies, he's not a little baby, have their birthdays. And we're like, oh, where is my baby going? But for him, it is just the best day in the whole entire world. And he is so proud to be getting big. So that's why I went with that title. Um, so you can see there I changed that top cluster. I wasn't thrilled with it, so put the Stay Wild banner up there instead of having it down underneath the bear. Then I pulled out the Vicky Booten puffy stickers. I love those puffy stickers. I think they are to die for. 
Um, so instead of using the enamel dots, I was going to, but instead of using the enamel dots, I've gone with the Vicky Booten um, puffy stickers instead, because I just think those little spots are so cute. Um, then I was umming and ahhing about these tiny word stickers. I'm quite obsessed with tiny word stickers, but I wasn't sure if they were needed. So just, um, I left them on their backing for a minute, just to have a little look-see. I really liked that one down the bottom, but I didn't want just one. And I decided after having a look that I could make it work. So I pop on those as well, because you know, you can never have too many things. And then spritzel on a little bit of the Jen Hatfield Color Shine and I am done. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed my layout. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, pop on over to the Scrappy Sisters channel and check me out there as well. Thanks everyone. Uh, thank you for watching.